Hey guys, in this video, I am going to show how to add a loading spinner for a button. Adding a loader spinner is a good user experience by providing feedback to the action user is performing. I am going to show a demo by adding a spinner to the button for fetching a data from the server. To add a spinner, uh, let's first add an on-click uh, listener to the button. To indicate that uh, we are going to start the fetching process and also creating a state variable uh, loading uh, to track the changes. When we click on the button, let's first set the loading as false and when it is false, we will actually show a loading uh, icon inside the button. So for this, I am using a JSX conditional rendering along with a spinner icon from Phantasm library. So if it is uh, loading, uh, then I need to show a spinner. Actually, based on your needs, you can also add a loading GIF images instead of icon forms. I'm going to disable this button so that user will not click that button twice while in loading state. So here when we click the button, it will update the state with true, which in turn renders the spinner inside the button. Now you can see the spinner as I mentioned in the before. Now let's set up a fake API call to uh, make this action more interactive for this demo. For this, uh, I'll be using set timeout function to trigger and action after uh, two seconds after I press the button. We will again update loading state to false to end this loading action. Practically, this will happen when we get an actual law response from the server. Now uh, let's see it in action. Once we uh, click on the button, uh, we will show the loading spinner for two seconds, and again we will remove the um, marking or uh, the completion of the API. Now I'm going to change the text inside the button based on the loading state to provide uh, what action is actually happening when we press the button. Uh, while uh, it's in loading state, uh, actually I'm going to change uh, this uh, button from fetching data from server or uh, loading data from server. So for this also I'm uh, using conditional rendering. Oh, let's change this to uh, loading so when actually the button is in loading state it will display this uh, name uh, loading uh, data from server otherwise it will uh, display uh, fetch uh, data from server yeah let's uh, Click this and see what. See, it's showing uh, loading data from server. Then, once uh, the state changes, it again uh, shows fetch data from server. So, this is how uh, we will add a loading button. The live example link is in description, guys. Please uh, check that. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe for more videos like this.